Welcome back everyone. Today we're diving into the world of Days Gone, a game that made quite a splash when it was revealed at E3 by Sony. Developed by Ben Studio, who you might remember for the Siphon Filter series, Days Gone was a fresh new IIA that promised a thrilling zombie survival experience. Let's explore the journey of Days Gone from its initial reveal to its legacy today. Back when E3 was still the go-to event for big game reveals, Sony took the stage to announce Days Gone. The nearly 10-minute trailer introduced us to Deacon St. John, a tough biker navigating a post-apocalyptic world. The trailer showcased Deacon riding his motorcycle through the Oregon wilderness, stopping by a decayed sawmill. Inside, he faced off against relentless hordes of zombies known in the game as Freakers. The gameplay demo was intense. It showed Deacon sneaking around, gathering supplies, and then desperately fighting off waves of freakers. One standout moment had him setting off explosives to collapse a log pile, buying precious seconds to escape the relentless undead. Another had him throwing molotovs between logs to incinerate the freakers trying to cross. The sheer number of zombies on screen and the dynamic ways to fight them were jaw-dropping, and it got everyone hyped. While the reveal was impressive, it left us with a lot of questions. What's the story? What else can you do besides fighting zombies? Ben's studio confirmed that Days Gone would be an open world game, and they set a launch date for 2018. Later, we learn more about the story. Deacon, voiced by Sam Witwer, is on a quest to find his wife, Sarah, after a zombie outbreak. As a member of a biker gang, Deacon navigates this dangerous world on his motorcycle, which needs constant refueling and repairs. Firearms make noise and attract freakers, so Deacon often relies on melee weapons and stealth. Freakers aren't the only threats. Infected animals like wolves and even bears add to the danger, offering their own unique challenges. Unfortunately, Days Gone didn't make its 2018 release date. It was delayed first to February 2019 and then to April. Despite some concerns about the delay, there was a lot of optimism. Sony's lineup was on fire at the time with hits like Uncharted 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, Marvel's Spider-Man, and God of War. Many expected Days Gone to follow in their footsteps. Commercially, the game had a strong start, topping sales charts in the UK and becoming the second best-selling game in the US for April 2019. It even beat God of War in Japan. However, Sony didn't release specific sales numbers, which was unusual given how they celebrated the success of their other titles. This led to speculation that Days Gone might not have performed as well as expected. Critically, Days Gone received mixed reviews. It holds a 71 on Metacritic, which while not terrible, didn't match the high scores of Sony's other hits. Critics praised the visuals and the chaotic battles against the Freaker hordes. They also appreciated the motorcycle mechanics and some aspects of the open world. However, there were criticisms too. Witwer's performance as Deacon was generally well received, though some felt it was over the top. The story lost steam in the second half and the open world felt repetitive with typical objectives like clearing out nests and enemy camps. Maintaining the motorcycle could be tedious early on. And the game had its fair share of bugs, technical issues, and inconsistent frame rates. Despite its issues, Days Gone had a dedicated player base who saw its potential. Ben Studio didn't give up on the game. They released a major update in June 2019, adding a new survival difficulty mode. This mode made enemies tougher, turned off fast travel, and provided a more immersive experience. They also rolled out several updates to fix bugs and improve quality of life. One of the coolest additions was the Challenges mode, which introduced special conditions on maps for players to earn high scores. Depending on your performance, you could earn bronze, silver, or gold ranks. These challenges were fun and added new patches and rings with significant gameplay benefits. The final features update allowed players to reset hordes camps and nests in the base game and added bike parts inspired by Death Stranding. Even after these updates, Ben Studio continued to patch the game, addressing bugs and improving performance. So what's next for Days Gone? Unfortunately, it seems like there won't be a sequel. In April 2021, Days Gone became free on PlayStation, plus bringing in a wave of new players who had missed it the first time around. 
The game also launched on PC, gaining even more fans. However, reports soon emerged that Sony had rejected Ben Studios' pitch for a sequel. The first game's long development time and mixed critical reception likely played a role in this decision. Ben Studio has since moved on to a new IP, which promises to build on the open world systems they developed for days gone and even includes multiplayer elements. Despite the challenges, Days Gone has sold over 7 million copies by February 2022, according to a leaked ransomware attack on Insomniac Games. This isn't a disappointing number, especially for a new IP, but Sony's standards for success, especially regarding development and marketing costs, can be tough to meet, since in hindsight Days Gone might have been a victim of poor timing. It came out after a series of highly polished and well-received PlayStation exclusives, Games like Uncharted 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, Marvel's Spider-Man, and God of War had set a high bar for what players expected from Sony's first-party titles. Days Gone took a different approach, with its multiple storylines and episodic format inspired by Netflix. One feature that could have set it apart was the ability to make story choices, which was removed from the final game to streamline the narrative. Even without this, the game offered plenty of choices in gameplay, from upgrading Deacon's bike and weapons to completing different storylines in various orders. Ultimately, Days Gone might not have been the massive hit Sony hoped for, but it's still a unique and enjoyable open-world zombie game. Its blend of survival mechanics, open-world exploration, and a dynamic zombie ecosystem offers something distinct from other titles, even if a sequel is off the table for now. Days Gone is worth appreciating for what it is, a solid, fun game with impressive production values. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Days Gone, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more content. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. See you next time.